Hi, this is Christina from thegodlyindianmom.com. Today's book review is on The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis. So, this book I would recommend for all ages uh, because I think there's something for everybody and you will see even as an adult how it is so much relatable today to our own choices too. So, this book uh, begins with two children, Diggory and Polly. Uh, so it starts with Diggory's uncle. He wants to go on a mission, but he's very uncomfortable to doing it. He tricks the two children into going on that mission for him. So the story uh, goes on uh, to what all uh, Diggory and Polly encounter and how they get back. And it also brings out how the cupboard was made and um, the cupboard through which they go into Narnia. Like if you have watched The Lion, The Witch and the Wardrobe, you know this is the cupboard that where children go through to get into Narnia. So uh, it starts with the beginnings of that, how that cupboard came to be and uh, how the lamppost, there is one lamppost in Narnia and that's usually very interesting. That's this only this one single lamppost. So it uh, talks about this uh, lamppost and the history behind that lamppost. Uh, one of the most interesting scenes for me is uh, the last uh, before scenes where uh, Diggory has to make some very hard choices and I was just thinking how interesting it is you know uh, one particular verse from the Bible actually stood out to me and I'm going to read that out to you. It says Proverbs 14 12 there is a way which seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death. Uh, sometimes uh, there are things we think, you know, uh, this is good and uh, this will work out. Uh, you know, in our worldly sense, we take certain decisions and or we think they may be right. But when after some time we see and uh, when it didn't pan out, we just realize how much uh, it was beneficial that it actually didn't pan out. So um, that is one thing I definitely uh, learned in this book and it was pretty much touching for me. Uh, when I was reading through this book. So this is one book I highly recommend. Until next time, see you. Bye. So in this particular novel, uh, C.S. Lewis talks about um, the creation and fall, if you have to see it from the theological point of view. And I highly recommend St. Andrew's College lectures on the Chronicles of Narnia if you're interested into in-depth uh, to go into the theological aspect of it like how well it uh, goes uh, with respect to uh, more uh, biblical context and historical context and uh, uh, more on theological jargon so uh, Pastor Doug Wilson does, has done a very good job with those lectures and I highly recommend you listening to it if you want to get a more clearer picture and more wider picture uh, into this particular book and uh, more into the theological concept and also into the mind of C.S. Lewis. I think he does a fantastic job. So I'm going to link that in the description box below uh, so you can check that out.